Hey guys, so remember the last haul? I was like, well, I'm going to take a break for a little while. Well, if you're anything like me, that was a bunch of you know what. <laughs> um, so before I get started on my haul, because it's um, I have a lot, um, I just wanted to mention I'm very new, and I mentioned this before, new to crafting or paper crafting. So I am building up my supply. Second thing is, I just want to say I am not made of money or have uh, empty, no, endless, what was the word used? I don't know. Deep pockets. There we go. I don't have deep pockets. Um, I, <laughs> I, I have two Etsy shops. And so my most successful Etsy shop is I sell coffee cozies. So, and then my other Etsy shop is my paper crafts, which I'm slowly getting getting rolling um so i sell coffee cozies and this channel is not meant to push my etsy shops i have links at the bottom of my description boxes but i don't i'm not here to push it and or go check out my etsy shop buy this buy that whatever i'm not here to do that because that's not what i wanted my youtube channel to be about but this making coffee cozies allows me to buy the, my paper crafts my stamps so I had, and this is how it looks, I had um, two really big orders. So with that, I was able to order some more things that just came out from Simon's stamp. But I did want to mention that, you know, I have other ways of supporting my habit of stamping. <laughs> I didn't want to, there was a comment on one of my hauls, and I don't think it was meant to be mean or cruel, you know rude but um I don't want to ever give the impression that I have all this money and all I do is buy things and I don't know if anyone would really even think that most people but um I do have Etsy shops my links are always below any support of course is welcome um and I sell mostly co coffee cozies um and with Christmas coming up I thought what the heck I'm gonna go ahead and mention it maybe somebody needs some gift ideas whatever so if you are watching my video and you love coffee or you know someone that loves coffee and you want to look at, I have I think over 500 coffee cozies listed, different designs, um, click on the link to my Etsy shop and you can use the coupon code YouTube to get 10% off. Um, these are just a few designs, but I wanted to show you guys this one because it's uh, similar to a stamp set I got today. Anyway enough of that because that's not why you're here a haul first off I'm gonna start with strawberry Jude um, this is another layering stamp set that I purchased it is I don't know what it's called corn cob layers and I love I have their pumpkin one too that was in a recent haul I love their layering stamps it comes with so many which in turn offers so many details so um, just like the pumpkin one, they came with a reference sheet. And so you can do yellow corn, you can do multicolored corn, and then they had this corn earworm. And so I did a couple. I am I was lit, you know, it's seven different stamps, and they're all kind of a yellowish tone, so I really didn't have that many different stamps of the same color. So this one is the yellow, which their picture is a lot better. If you have a vari more variety of ink, then it works better. And this one I messed up stamping, but you get the idea. So I love their stamps, really cool. I love the layering. Um, there's a lot of detail to them all. Next is my Lawn Fawn haul. Now, typically I order everything from Simon Says Stamp. It's just a one-stop shop, they have all brands typically um, and I can just get it all there pay one shipping cost whatever but if I'm on Simon Says Stamp and they um, are out of stock out of a few items I will then go to the website so they did not have some Lawn Fawn sets I wanted so I went ahead and went to Lawn Fawn and went ahead and purchased some stamps from there now I love Simon Says Stamp, but I also love ordering from different companies and they send you free gifts. So all I did ordered, and it came wrapped in this twine, which 
is a lot of twine, so I could save this and use it for cards. I ordered the Thanks a Bushel. It's kind of going back and forth. Wasn't sure if I wanted it, but it's just so cute. And I'm going to have a mini fall series after my Halloween series. I say it's mini, but I have some cute stamps, so we'll see. Um, so I'm kind of collecting some fall stamps because I don't really have any. Um, so I thought this would be perfect, and I got the matching die set. This is one of their smaller sets, and look how many stamps are with it. <laughs> so it's not too expensive. It's not too bad. Then I got this one. This is a new release um, die. It is called Leafy Tree Backdrop. And this is the landscape. Um, landscape portrait? Is that what it's called? Anyway, it comes with, uh, or this is portrait style. Portrait landscape? There we go. Um, it comes with portrait with the tree like here and then also landscape. But I thought I could create more of an image landscape instead of being portrait because portrait you order from Lawn Fawn. But they also sent me a few sheets, three sheets of double-sided paper, which I thought was nice. I love their paper, pattern paper. Not that I need any, but you know, I love it. And then they sent me a little note, thanks for your order, with the little stamp, Mercy. So, I mean, really cute. And it's free. It's just a nice gesture. Okay. Um, next is my Simon Says Stamp Order. So I have quite a bit here. <laughs> First, we'll start off with this stamp set, which I've been looking at for a while. It was, um, I don't know when this was released. I think it was pretty, maybe a month or so ago. Cle clearly besotted. And it is the bird bath. And I love birds. If you're ever watching my videos and you hear bird noise in the background, that is my clock going off. I'm a bird nerd, so this is just so precious, and it's so tiny, um, so really cute, and then I got the dies with it. Next, I got this Merry Christmas. This is part of Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber event. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Um, it's just really, they have some really cool things, and I've, I've been really good not, they have really cool things, but not a lot I'm tempted by. <laughs> which is a good thing, but they release things throughout the month. So then I got this Penny Black, um, have a lot of tall people. cake stamps. <laughs> um, so I thought this would be a great birthday stamp. And you, I feel like you can't have enough birthday things because bir everyone has birthdays and it's a great, um, you can just create a whole bunch of different birthday cards. So why not have a good variety in your stash? And I thought that was cute. Next, I got Lawn Fawn's Winter in the Park. I had purchased some Jane Doodle's houses. I had that previous haul. And even though the house stamp set was not winter theme, I wanted to try to use it for Christmas, and I thought this would be a good addition to the houses. Um, the lamp post, the bench, and then I love the snow cap for the bench. Just really cute. Once again, a smaller set, um, so the price point was okay. And I got the dies to match. So you have the snow cap, the bench, and then the uh, light post. Um, this was a clearly besotted stamp release, new release. And it's the feeling frightful. So you have a jar and then you have all these things you can put in the jar. And going back to the coffee cozies, this coffee cozy, when I saw this, I immediately thought of this fabric. So... I am, the way I am with paper and stamps, I'm the same way with fabric. I mean, I could go crazy in a fabric store. And I have. <laughs> so, um, this I was thinking about using in my Halloween series towards the end. But it can also be used for Get Well cards. Because there's nothing here that says anything about Halloween. I hear you're feeling frightful. Hope you feel better soon. So, I thought that was a cute kind of play on something different not necessarily Halloween. Another clearly besides new stamp release were these reindeers, which are so stinking cute. This is called Let's Prance. So adorable. I've seen so many cute cards using these and 
um, I didn't get the dies to go with it and I wish I did and now they're sold out so I'll have to go go back and try to catch next them. I got a few tailored expression stamp sets um, this one is bushel of blessings um, I have a couple stamp sets by them and I really like their stamps they are the rubber but they already do have a clean back so um, they're ready to use but just really pretty pumpkins. Happy Thanksgiving with a grateful heart, a bushel of blessings to you and yours. There's seven total stamps. Just really nice and really good for um, fall and Thanksgiving. Next one I got was Birch Tree Background. I did get a die set in a previous haul that was Birch Trees, but I really liked um, the background that would fill in the whole the whole card and it's four and a half by five and three quarters so it's a nice size that's also Taylor expression and I absolutely love layered stamps so this one is simply stamped cupcakes there are 15 stamps the uh, rubber again but I love the the layers you can do with the cupcakes happy birthday cupcake birthdays are a great excuse to eat cake once again can't have too many birthday stamps. Um, this opinion. is a die stamp that I got. I have. I was. And this is also part of the Stamp Timber event with Simon Says Stamp. I won the stamp set that goes with this, and I did a card previously. But um, I love the script, and I kind of wanted the die, so I went ahead and got the die before it sold Next out. Next it is another Lawn Fawn set. This is called Happy Harvest, which I I don't know what it is. This is great for fall, but these stinking scarecrows are so stinking cute. So I had to get this. I love the sunflowers, of course, the pumpkin, and then the corn stalk. And then I got the matching dies. Next, I got the Hero Arts. This is called Color Laying Grateful Leaves. Um, once again, I love layering stamps, and this is great for fall. Um, I love that you can either do the solid or you can just do the um, outline you don't have to do both so really great I can see a lot of backgrounds um, using these stamps for backgrounds in my cards so looking forward to that another hero arts stamp set I purchased was this it's called color laying fall trees color layering fall trees and I love when Hero Arts includes the ink. I've purchased a few with the ink pack and it's just so helpful. It's so nice. Um, I have the whole set of Lawn Fawn set inks and um, I have to say even though I love them I really love the Hero Art inks and I, I kind of wish I tested out a few inks before buying a whole set of one brand but these are so nice and I'm so glad that they didn't come with the stamps um, they just stamp really nice so maybe one day in 10 years when my Lawn Fawn ink pads run out I'll get Hero Art but really looking forward to using this for fall and winter there's some examples of some winter cars just really pretty this is a this is my favorite things it's a stencil and it is bricks I did get a brick stamp, but I kind of like the freedom that a stencil allows you, even though I'm a little iffy on stencils. Um, I like this one. I'm very picky with stencils because I don't want it to look like a child did a little drawing or something. But um, this one, I've seen this one being used and it looks really good. So looking forward to doing using this. And finally, with my Simon Says Stamp haul, I got this ultra fine antique gold embossing powder I've, I've seen other youtubers use this and it's really pretty so I thought this would be a great addition to my holiday series that's coming up all right my final purchase was with my favorite things and these were new releases that I had to jump on um, well, this one wasn't. This one was released either last month or the month before. It's your Rarsome. Rar <laughs> Rarsome? Anyway, um, this is not a stamp set I would have 
been tempted by. I mean, I was it was adorable. Okay, fine, cute. But it's regularly $17.99 and I got it for nine bucks. So I went ahead and got it because it would make great birthday cards. I've seen great videos of people using it. And you can't beat $9 on a stamp set like this. So really cute. Um, let's see. I got this geometric greenery. This is a new uh, new release. I love the leaves and the cards I've seen using the stamp set are just beautiful. So, and then next, this is another new release. It is Fall Friends. The Sunflower and the Scarecrow got me again. I don't know. They just need a stamp set with all Scarecrow. <laughs> There's an owl, a, um, an acorn, the fox, just really cute. And then for this one, I did get the coordinating dies because I wanted to uh, cut out the scarecrow. And then I got this Hello die set, or die. This, of course, is handy. I like the big block words, and then you can just stick it in your card. Stick it on your paper and cut it out, and it just, and I like how they're all together. They're not separated. And then I got the tea party die set. Um, I've seen some really cute cards. I'm more into coffee than tea, but I kind of wanted to mix it up a little. I love the teapot. I've seen some cute cards where people will cut these out using pattern paper. And of course, I have so much pattern paper. It's a great way to use it up. I did order the stamp set that goes with this, um, but I don't have it yet. And then I got this Wow Metallic Copper Super Fine Embossing Powder. So that should probably be really pretty. And then when you make a purchase of $60 at All My Favorite Things, you get a free die. And this was their new die that they're sending out. I saw it and I was like, eh, whatever. But I've seen cards with it and it looks really cool. So looking forward to using that. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, maybe got some inspiration, especially with the new releases. Definitely check it out. Definitely check out the Simon Says Stamp, uh, Stamp Timber event. In no way did they tell me or talk to me about anything, about promoting it, whatever. It's my own opinion. Um, Lord knows I've given that company so much money. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, check it out because they have some fun things. And... Um, it's throughout the month and there's so like and releases subscribe if you want to see more car tutorials and hauls and um, check out my Etsy shop. Thank keep me in mind um, for holiday shopping and I will catch you next time. Have a good day.